Hey guys, it's Jax here. Well, I'm in Weymouth on the south coast of England for a few days to see my family and um, I'm just out having a morning walk and this is uh, Wyke Church. Now, <laughs> my sister actually got married here and I've never ever really looked at it but it's quite interesting because you can actually see the restoration here. Anyway, I'm going to have a little walk about. Unfortunately, I haven't brought my vlogging camera, vlogging camera with me because I've lost one of the leads, mislaid one of the leads in the house, so I couldn't charge it, but my little sturdy Samsung will do the trick. Some great gargoyles up there, but there's also some a bit lower that I can maybe get a bit closer to. And then when I get back, I can check out some of the history. But already you can see it's been dug out a bit and there's some quite interesting gravestones here which um, I'll have a look at. They were probably all over here and they moved them up against the wall here and over the road there's another quite old graveyard but So I'll start here at the front of the church, and you can get really in quite close to this old building. Restoration here. It's quite cool gargoyle there. Old, old stonework. Look at it. interesting child gullies here at the bottom. I hope the wind isn't catching this too much. The state of the stone, it's almost petrified, look at it. This could be petrified, couldn't it? The state of it. Petrified wood. I don't know, do we? But I was looking at the gravestones and the wall that they're against, and I don't know how old that wall is. We'll have a look in a minute. Oh, this is like a horned gargoyle. I'll get some dates, see what it's saying about it. Take it nice and slow. There's nobody here. It's only nine o'clock in the morning. It's in a memorial stone. Seventeen eighty seven. So, that's got a bit of age to it. <laughs> All Saints Church, White Creeges. These little filled in knocks. I don't know if it's open. I don't know whether I want to try. It's probably not. Look at this door. I do like an old church, I have to say. So you wipe the mud, mud off your feet. I do have wind. I'm walking with my back to the wind.
into the stream because this is going to be deep. Blocked in entrance the window. and crossbones. I've been looking for Medivent houses in Weymouth and Portland and there are a few. I, I, these places weren't as inhabited I don't think as um, the cities but they're still here. Portland's the place. Wow! <laughs> That's a good shot. Fantastic place. Another door here. I love these doors. I've always loved these nailed. Look at the shape of this in the door. That's just awesome, isn't it? Bridge here almost looks like maybe there was water used to run under here, around here. You can see how much higher the graveyard is as well than the church. It's quite sloped. Wouldn't be surprised if, if it really, really rained. All these graves all slipped down. They do look like they're slipping. Stuff, isn't it? Let's have a look at some of these gravestones over the wall, but there's a front entrance here. Oh, I thought there was a front, must be the side entrance, it's my memory. Memory playing tricks. It's the main, main window of the church. Stone cross. So let's go and have a look at these graves here. I was always quite charmed by this here as well. Uh, 1897. Yeah. Well, we know it's older than that. It's restoration. Okay, so let's have a look. They're probably all worn away. They're quite ornate. Can't make out really what's going on here. Wall behind. Hmm. Okay, well that's a little look. I'll find out some history about it. But my sister got married here and all sorts have happened here and like everything else, never really looked at it before.
check this out look. DNA protected all valuable metals on this church premises are protected the transferable DNA forensic grease well might be a bit late for that <laughs> it's like it's all gone lead I guess that people were after DNA grease hmm graveyard that company's church see how high up it is from the road they've moved most of the gravestones and put them to the side here I'm not going to go in I've got to get up to my family's and I've got a way to walk it's a huge modern graveyard here I'll show you This is the modern graveyard. It's interesting that they've got everything, the, the area of death is all around here. So you've got the modern graveyard, the church there, and then the old graveyard there. So it's all this area. I wonder what happened here to deserve this. It's been earmarked for death. This walk is lovely. It's um, we call, used to call it the Badger Fields, and it's a walk that sort of cuts out all the streets once the graveyard's over. <laughs> it's like creepy walking through here at night, obviously. When we were kids, we used to walk through another graveyard on Portland for bets, and that's a very interesting church that that church our graveyard's attached to. But um, I went to Portland yesterday and I filmed the high angle batteries did some research, quick research about them last night. Uh, get to here. See a view. So this is Weymouth lying below here now. And um, I don't have an awful lot of funds for this place because um, it was where everything went wrong really. A place where my heart lies is Portland where I was raised from the age of about 8 to 17 and then we moved here and it's um, seaside town it's very pretty in places but it's a weird place I'm telling you there's the bay It's lovely, there's nobody about. Here all on my Todd and enjoying the early morning. I don't ever not want to have the ability to be able to just go out and walk out and film and check the sky out and check the fields out and nature. I never want to have to be stuck in my home to the point where I can't go out at all that'll be the worst for me and people don't go out you know so many people never go out even in the country it's everybody's in their houses beautiful day look at the size of that cloud the clouds are very low some awesome clouds yesterday and I'm just trying to point them out, but um, I actually spoke to somebody yesterday who still thinks Osama bin Laden did the Twin Towers. Uh, where'd you go? Where'd you go from there? 